Yes. Well, anyway, we're gonna we're gonna start we're gonna start the content now. I got it. Oh, let's okay. see. Here we go. Okay. Oh, we're we're, we're, yeah, here we go. Uh, <clears throat> we have Sarah and OK from the Art and Labor Podcast. Everybody, everybody, welcome them to the stream. Hey. Thank, oh thank you, everybody. <laughs> Thank you so much. Today, to <laughs> today we're going to be watching uh, company training videos. Now, I haven't looked at any of the lists. <laughs> I don't think y'all have either. Uh, but no. Graham has served us up yeah. a special helping of company training videos. I've seen this one before. Yeah, and this is a classic. classic. This is why this is a good one to start with. So let's dig Hopefully, in. Uh, the Old Country Buffet. <laughs> <laughs> Training video, but import more importantly, segment three: uh, the Carver and other shift duties. Your other shift duties. It's we'll begin with our second shift duty. Hopefully, uh, less gory than the videos from last week. Yeah. Have you guys that ever had to watch an orientation video? Yeah, I, uh, yeah. I had to watch an anti-labor video for a gas station that I quit like oh, two two weeks you know, after, like two weeks after I quit. Yeah. No, no, I got fired. Okay, uh, uh, for real, I I got fired. I got fired for uh not sprinting to the trash can. They wanted me to they take. Covered in the video. Well, it's a long story. <laughs> I I man I managed a gas station for like three years, and then I quit that job because of a bunch of bullshit, and got a new job at a gas station. And when I was training, they were like, "You need to show some hustle while taking out the trash. You need to like jog to the." trash cans and i was like yes. yeah that's not fucking happening like what are you talking about you crazy trash bag. like oh. yeah and yeah so they like fired me because like they were like yeah we're, you're not showing like it was a qt they were like yeah you're not showing appreciation to qt or whatever and i was like all right <laughs> uh no problem that's weird i like i said I, I managed a gas station for three years so it, like i know what i'm doing i don't know what you're talking about like, oh, they 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 had their like um twenty management cor courses, uh, it, telling them exactly what psychological things to look out for if you'd be insubordinate. Yeah, I was they just like wanted to hire their friend. Like, we gotta get <laughs> we gotta get this guy out. <laughs> they they checked off on the box to punk rock to yeah, yeah, exactly. hopefully <laughs> in my head that's what uh, that would be really cool. Right. Like ha they have like manuals that are like these are like the things you look out for for you don't want to hire these people. Like they read all that shit all day at the at the big corporate chains. They, they have a, what they do. They have a phrenology skull on your. They went over your. They yeah, they were like <laughs> they were like this guy's Italian. We need to fire him. He's gonna fucking rob. <laughs> he's gonna rob the place. Obviously. He's, he's, he's got the brain pan of someone who's mobbed. He's up. gonna shake it down for protection money. <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> sorry that's a little diversion we'll go back to we, we need to learn how to carve at the carving station it looks like a pizza hut yes. do you guys remember when pizza hut looked like hot out there Fine oh, friend oh, yes. establishment. Did you catch a game last night? Yeah, people <laughs> look like this. <laughs> I'm not lasagna? crazy. That's my favorite. With the hat. Don't I refuse to be gaslit about that. Conversations with our younger guests too. This is Children great often play a big part in deciding which yeah. restaurant our parents visit. We want them Hello. to feel welcome and, and special like. here too. So start conversations with children by saying something like this. <laughs> what grade are you in? Was, I went to a spa <laughs> once with my have friends you decided um, what you're gonna have? for a bachelorette or this. Uh, party like and they had an open buffet and it's time uh, i got like a little too a little too crazy and <laughs> started just like getting like a lot of lasagna oh. and that wasn't like <laughs> <laughs> my mood was always just loaded up on french fries <laughs> <laughs> you gotta keep go wrong. I, that's I just to, oh no, continue. Uh, no, there, there was a there was a buffet I would used to go to. I remember they were handing out balloons, and I was like, I was like twelve years old, you know, with friends. I was like, oh, can I have one? I want to make my voice funny. And the lady goes, uh, I'm not gonna give you one because you can die from that, and then you'll sue us. <laughs> oh. I was like, uh, I'm twelve. I'm twelve, <laughs> and you're a cunt. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Are you joking right now? <laughs> 
I love going to buffets and you see lobster tail. And you're like, oh, I'm definitely going to get, I'm going to get the lobster tail at the so buffet. That's, the that's, what, that's what you're supposed to be eating. You're not supposed to eat a watermelon. Yeah, I love to get, did, I love did, to get botulism. Did, did <laughs> I don't think we had these. No, old country buffets. Oh, yeah, no, I don't think so. I don't think I've been to an old country buffet in Texas. I, I've been to buffets where they like cut the roast beef before. Uh, it is very good. Carved. Yeah, they, they carve it. Sorry, I, I'm already I'm already getting in trouble with corporate for not saying carve. I'm failing to watch the company training video, and I don't know to really use the term gonna, carve. We're not gonna pass the test. We, we missed it, but this part's so funny where they explain like. Well, like oh my God, do you guys see this absolute yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. This part is so funny. E-girl hair. This, she looks hot. No this this part is so funny where he explains like how, why they what cut it paper like thin, and they're like, "Oh yeah, if it's that thin, you get a more tender piece." It's like, no, you just <laughs> we got like four paunches in the back. You can't get through them. How's that? How's that? Is that good? Is that slice of meat good? This guy's voice is so funny. I like your blazer. Profile right now. He clearly belongs Ooh. in some like high level administrative position. The chin of a Roman. <laughs> I'm sorry, they have all of the fucking. Like, they, like, went down to the YMCA and hired all the gay people in town to do this. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, did you see that mustache on that man? Beautiful. I like the idea of wearing, like, a giant chef's hat just when you're cutting the meat at a buffet. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, you, oh, you got a dress like you went to Le Cordon Bleu. I know you didn't, but... <laughs> I just imagine this guy is the CEO playing the chef, and he's like, yeah, like, he doesn't know what he's doing, and he's like, yeah, this is what this is what you do. Yeah, that, that would be a good undercover boss episode. Like, oh, yeah, you cut that haunch to a little too thick there, and it'll be real thick. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> you see someone's cutting even thinner, he's like, oh, I'm shutting this place down. After cutting about 10 to 15 slices of meat, you'll notice that your knife isn't cutting as easily as it was. When oh, first yeah, that's right. You gotta, you gotta sharpen it. Well, you know, my cousin actually did get like a really serious <laughs> cut in her hand because she was working at a Jimmy John. <laughs> and, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> and they call it like the sandwich maker's cut. <laughs> like, because it's just like you're basically, yeah, you press it down and do the. Like right across the middle of your palms. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, he's got the double on. These are great. I would love a pair of these, though. I, I am a lifelong vegetarian, so I don't have the most experience in this stuff. But I was a, I, I did have to work at a sandwich making place for a couple months, and I, I learned how to cut meat and stuff. But. It won't, like, yeah, I... Look at those dead eyes on this guy. He's done this before. It's apparently a good profession. I had a friend who was like, I was like, how do you make so much money? He's like, oh, I'm a butcher. I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. That, that, that's a lot. It's a lot of skill. It's a total, totally a lot of skill. I think they were, like, unionized. A lot of them are, like, yeah. unionized, yeah, too. Yeah, definitely. It's a very specialized trade. Yeah. yeah. Well, I have a friend who, like, they, they, they were, like, you know, the butcher at their restaurant, and they, like, were offered a job and relocation in, like, Alaska because they knew how to do this one type of butchery. Yeah. Do you know like, the it's like, it's Sorry. Uh, no, I know. I don't remember. It's like knowing different types of, like, martial arts and stuff. <laughs> God. Do you know how to take apart a, uh, uh, um, Addicted. Army Hammer is yeah. his personal <laughs> chef. Yeah. <laughs> no, all the cuts. Yeah, doing ooh, whatever in italics. Uh oh. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. I got the the sandwich maker cut because you're cutting like 
individual things of ciabatta sideways all day. Right. What are you do? <laughs> when preparing food at Old Country Buffet, be aware of any infections of Kuru. <laughs> see Hillary Clinton in the background. Safety. <laughs> You work in an area with a high potential for accidents. Oh, yeah. You could accidentally stab a customer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a guy going, hey, this paper thin piece of meat is too paper thin. That's why you need to always work safe. Your stupid plebeian blood might get yeah. on the merchandise. Treat your knives with respect. About the church. Yeah, that was. Uh, I worked in a little pleb. Uh, metal finishing and if you if it's got blood knife, on something <laughs> was literally like you gotta knife, start over let it the floor. <gasps> oh shit oh to it from oh falling, god you stand a that was so oh that was so close so close <laughs> what the knife the take floor, extra time and care when you're washing knives when the chat is talking about wet, other types of buffets, and Indian buffet was always my absolute favorite thing because I was a lifelong vegetarian, and it was like, oh, I can have like everything here. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> there's a, I don't know, maybe someone told you about it when you were in Toronto one time, okay, but there's there this one Indian restaurant where it was attached to another smaller Indian restaurant. <laughs> I loved that shit. Like, which had like its own patio, but the other restaurant did not have a patio. <laughs> I just love how, like, a lot of Indian restaurants are, like, it's a converted, it's like, it used to sell pool equipment, but they converted it into a restaurant, and you go in there, and there's, like, really cheap paintings on the wall and stuff. It's like, hell. Yeah, any, any restaurant that is clearly, like, a money laundering business, but they still want to help you out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> there, no, 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 come in. Actually, come in. Yes. When we lived in South Carolina, there was a Thai place that was, like, we can't serve beer because of the liquor license, but you're allowed to bring your own beer in here to drink it. Yeah, like, yeah. and I was like, like whoa, I was like, what? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Well, like Queens, Queens restaurants do that. Yeah. So these are the uh, these are the one day training videos, which are all music videos. Oh, I've seen some of these. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nineteen ninety fucking four. Is the last time you ever saw Sango. Yeah. Is Arsenio Hall going to pop out? Yeah. Oh, no. I was actually just discussing with my coworker about how psychotic McDonald's coffee is. Because <laughs> they, when, when you order like a coffee with milk in McDonald's, they just bring it up as milk. Like underscore oh. or whatever, like till we call me. Weird. That's so real. This is the the song from Garth Riggs' Dark Place. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, <laughs> he was just rapping like Dean Werner. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> She's smooth like ice. New York City. <laughs> That's a small cut. That, okay, could I say for the record that pissed me off so much after they did an episode <laughs> where they take New York City public transit and it's clearly it, TTC. You see, yeah. It's well, I was, so you watched, annoying. Did you see the new one from this week? It's supposed, there's a part where it's supposed to be clearly Times Square, but you can see oh like the God. Eaton's. You can see the Eaton Center logo in the background. Awesome. Fuck, it's so lazy. Yeah. Oh, it felt a little too hot. This was before the lawsuit. Yeah, yeah, before, yeah, before the McDonald's lady. <laughs> I just don't understand. Like people are always like, I need to get my McDonald's coffee. It tastes the best. It's like all oh, coffee tastes mostly the same. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. It's like. It's like you're addicted to like well, it's like if you get like expensive if you get expensive coffee it's like it tastes different but like if you're gonna go fast food coffee like it all it all tastes the fucking same like we're not like the other chains we've got bisexual yeah yeah <laughs> this was funny too because in Canada Wendy's there was a, they, there was like a deal between a lot of Tim Hortons and Wendy's where they would all be like in one larger like double location. 
That's a great. That's a great pair. Oh my god! This is the cold drink song. It's Sabrina, oh, the teenage witch, who's telling us about <laughs> Wendy's drinks. Uh, America's most beloved Republican. <laughs> she really does look like her. Yeah, like the comic, like the original comic Sabrina. Oh, she yeah. she looks like her. <laughs> I thought you meant like Melissa Joan Hart. <laughs> <laughs> is the cup stupid? Oh, okay. Yeah, fill it with ice, so we can fill it with less drink. Or your boss will frown. Or your boss will frown. <laughs> and I'll dock your pay! Like the background <laughs> singers. <laughs> if there's a, if not enough ice, water it down. That will make your boss not frown. <laughs> it's very expensive, that's what I say. So... Oh, we've got a strict like daytime Wendy's, nighttime Wendy's dynamic. But this woman yeah. has been in both videos. Yeah. Yeah, it's a. Uh, you'll see in the next one too. It's like very clearly I was filmed at the same location. Yeah. But yeah, all those those like double locations here and always have a giant portrait of Dave Thomas and the, the like the VP of Tim Hortons at the time. They're like, oh wait, we were good friends. We love each other. Ugh. Yucky. Give them that. The, give the real Wendy's employees <laughs> got the day rate. <laughs> the like, what? No. Like, the, I don't know. It's, wait, what did you say? The what? The day rate for extras. Oh, what is the day oh. rate? What is like a. Like, say, like the, I saw, I thought, I thought you said date rape, and I was like, I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know about that. that I don't know if that happened. But. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was the eighties. No, I, the, <laughs> the the it it was the eighties, and maybe they had standards for these things back then. I wonder if they're real Wendy's employees or if they're actors, all of them, or if some are real. There, I mean, I think just the one woman, like they've got the. I think yeah, it's they, just the one woman. There's, there's posts, there's they had to have signed something to be in the video. I right? will say, I, yeah, will say I do have actually some insightful set stuff to say about this. The one feature film I worked on, there's a lot of people I worked with who did a lot of the work on like the really Christian movies, like God's Not Re God's Not Dead or whatever also, the fuck it's called. Yeah, yeah. Or whatever, Hercules. but I also met a, a, a lot of other people in South Carolina who worked on stuff in Atlanta a lot, which is where a lot of TV stuff was. Mm -hmm. And they specifically told me, if you want to keep doing this, go into commercials. Commercials pay a shit ton more and you have to do way less work. So like... It I, is this they, classified as a commercial? Yeah, so or... they probably made a lot of money because like... That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Especially back then when there was like, mm -hmm. to get licensing to use a camera, you needed to go through the YouTube. Yeah. This one, this one is vile. So yeah, so here's all the same He's people. real. Yeah. Um, these songs oh. remind me of how, uh, because most, because Genghis Khan had armies so large and very few of them could read would uh, turn all of their battle plans into songs that they could sing as they marched on their uh, way to the battlefield. Yeah. Um, oh, no, I, yeah, I, I believe that. The, I'm the cops are too, go. <laughs> I forgot that Wendy's whole thing is that they have chili. <laughs> yeah. Tim and it's, it's just the ground up leftover hamburger meat, too. That's the best part oh, yeah. about it. Uh, yeah, they, they, actually, they, they say that in the next video. <laughs> yeah, they basically go like, this hamburger meat's going to go bad. Let's grind it up and make it into the chili because that'll last. You know, with all the stuff it's mixed in with, it'll keep longer, basically. Add some, the bonus, some of my God. The <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, that's the line there that I feel like they sing at work all the time. <laughs> <laughs> can be served with cheese. Is this Michael McDonald? He sounds great. Yeah. It sounds like the guy from Was Not Was. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like the guy from the Poker Rap. Open the door. Get on. 
on the floor. Can I get some chili, please? <laughs> That's <laughs> wait, like wait, song. I'm sorry. wait, hold on. I gotta say this. That uh, this is what happens when you eat the Wendy's chili. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, he's eating the chili right now. That's why they're not having this joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I broke vegetarian after 31 yeah. years. <laughs> That's, I've heard so just... many good things about this chili. Yeah. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Yeah, this is what I'm gonna do it for. Uh, fast food milk is. I have like. Ow. I always remember eating like milk at McDonald's as a kid. It's so it was strange. It had like a weird consistency. <laughs> I need that though. I'm kind of a chocolate chip cookie freak. Um. Yeah. Graham. I still have any chocolate chip cookies. Yes. Yeah. Graham, I have to go for a second okay, to deal with some support. stuff at, with my daughter. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I can't control. <laughs> so good luck. I don't know what this is. Good luck. I'll be it's right back. More Wendy's. Yeah, more Wendy's. <laughs> so this cool. is the. Uh, this is their. Uh, this is this is their Satan Tango. It's their their magnum opus. Their 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 longest. Video. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> These are, so, these are so sick, dude. The gra- oh god. The graphics team got paid. Like or, that's yeah. so wild. It's the equivalent of the uh, the Nokia guy or the guy who made the hold waiting music. It's like, let me just put my whole bussy out for this. You gotta, uh, you, you gotta listen to this one to hear how he says hamburger. Oh god. I'm, I'm looking up who made the, the squares, songs anyway. So the hamburger hangs over the side of the bag. Yeah, hamburger. Then we cook the patty slowly to seal in its natural juices. And yeah, this is so funny. He's like, yeah, our, our burgers are better because they're squares. No other <laughs> they have more surface area, so they're a better, <laughs> so they're a better product. <laughs> and that's why our customers come to Wendy's. I believe the only way to make a Wendy's open I'm reading an hamburger is article to try to figure out who wrote these songs. The Patty, and and the first line is, Wendy's why. hasn't just been killing Patty the social media oh, game yeah. recently. Have, have you guys seen when they had a, like, Chuck E. Cheese had the mascot Twitch stream? And people were like, no. Uh, was, uh, That's so I'll, funny. Find the, I'll find the clip, but they did like a Twitch stream where someone like in the costume with like a puppet mouth. And so like the Chuck, the Chuck E. Cheese mascot just turns to the camera and goes, Poggers. Oh, oh wait, no, I have seen that clip. Yeah. One yeah. specific. <laughs> Right now, I want you God, to I hate an article that's just like, here's a bunch of tweets about people talking about the song. Tell me who wrote the song. This is a story. I don't like that this you. restaurant calls the salad bar the garden spot. Wow. Ugh. Pasta, pasta. Pasta. Sorry, my, my daughter is also crying. I don't know if you can hear her, but... Oh, your your cat daughter. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know my fur baby. My fur baby. baby. <laughs> my heckin' pupperino is Ugh. being bad. Hey, Greg, what's up? Not much. Mary's up front. She wants to see you. Uh, not much. Hi, Bill. Ugh. Hey. Punch cards. This is like my thing is like I really want to read like tell all books about like advertisement stuff from the 90s like I'm obsessed with like um the M&Ms and all the M&M mascots oh, yeah. and I would like I would pay so much money for a a book about like the people who like made make the campaigns and like what what like their philosophy behind them were and like i can i can so the uh my basically supervisor at my last production job was one of those guys and he like it's not the working class hero you suspect it's like no 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 i i suspect that they are monsters it is like one of the people when i've really like thought about it pulled it over i have 
they digitized them like a drum. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I came back just in time Look for this. Look at this visual yeah. effects are so good. See, don't you want to read a book all about whoever made this fucking video? Are we, is this you, still like the Wendy's actual, video? It is still the yeah, Wendy's video. It's, it's an actual sociopath. Who went to yes! Like somebody but I want to know. Sociopath. I want to know who the Darren Aronofsky of the fucking Wendy's video is. Yeah. Like. Yeah. like, I want to know. I want to know who the maniacs who came up with math with the uh, math tonight. Math That's tonight. right. Yeah. I want to know how much, like, when, where they were getting their coke, where they were doing coke, who else they were hanging out with. I want to know, like, all of the gossip, yeah. all of everything. Yeah, they should do a 24-hour party, people, with the yes. McDonald's commercial. Yes. <laughs> yes, and the M&Ms, and all the, the cast of the M&Ms. I want to yeah. know their, all their stories. That's the thing. It, it was all 23-year-olds. That was the answer. There was just so much money in the 90s. Ooh. They were well, that, like, yeah, fuck it. We're Pepsi. We'll give, like, yeah. <laughs> we'll give somebody who graduated like college last year yeah million dollars wait a minute that's hold on i think this is important as employees of wendy's we should pay attention to this part that's oh, way that's sorry, that's that, that's way too much salt that's Ugh. that's too much salt <laughs> i think we can all agree i think he was doing a goofy there <laughs> yeah <laughs> I think this is the one I've seen. Yeah. Don't be slow. Yeah. Yeah. I also want to hear from. Oh, want to hear from oh. people who worked in this era and whether they got their songs stuck. I just keep thinking about Darren Aronofsky directing this now after somebody <laughs> said that. <laughs> yeah, so I was talking about it with my 19 year old wife, and uh, the Wendy's paid me a few million dollars. I th- it was a good idea. The dolls are out. Oh, did I just want to fuck a hamburger? Yeah. yeah. It's Ellen Bernstein playing one of the ham. <laughs> yeah. One of the ham. Well, Jennifer Connelly is looking good in yeah. this training video. <laughs> Jared Leto lived life as a hamburger for the role in this. His arm by the end of that movie kind of looks like hamburger. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I hope I win a prize. I got a medal? Oh, I, I love Wendy's now. Wendy's well, was, was so epic. Like... You, when you were con Krill, it was like, I was saying that I'm, I was trying to find out information about who, who like wrote these songs or like what, ad, at least like what ad studio had this, did this or whatever. But like all the articles were just like, Wendy's isn't just epic on Twitter. They have the story history of epic They have the 90s like background pattern with the blue and purple crayon things squiggling around. I should have added like it's not a training video but there's like the steakums like marketing video where the guy just seems depressed. Not too little. He's like, "Oh, come on kids, I'm making steakums tonight." Oh, it that is. Yeah, I would definitely be singing We don't want a broken patty. Yeah, this their old west. Sorry, <laughs> really important. I kind of miss their old west uh, typography. <laughs> <laughs> I I just want to say this part's for like. All the white employees in the early 90s where they're like, yeah, it's a rap song, but look, you can rap along too with them. Because yeah. it, it, when you work at Wendy's, it's cool if you rap. It's like, uh, I think Rory said when we watched like the cop tra- like the cop like training video. Like they're like, the yeah. PSA. It's like, yeah, every like white guy in the 90s had to have a, like when they rap, they had to have a part of it's like, oh, my name is Merton. I like to party. I'm eating food, but I'm never tardy. <laughs> yeah, this part is very like, hey, look, if you weren't a... Uh, uh, sorry, I'm not a uh, jive enough to uh, first start boss. Could I uh, hear that again? I would love to see the, like, 
contemporary SoundCloud rapper version of this. Yes. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, delete them. Yeah, it's part like talking about burgers, part like talking about wanting to kill yourself. They auto tuned up like five octaves. I'm good, yeah. I'm at the burger. <laughs> I gotta say, there's like no soul in like this shit like the, anymore. <laughs> it, they, it's all like extremely like. <laughs> Like the, all the modules, like I have to do them for for one of my jobs, and and they're just like, they're just like uh, slideshows, oh, yeah. and, and then like they'll be like a little, a very 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 like plain skit, like with no I had, jokes. I had to do a like OSHA training like a few months ago for for work because that they put me like the health and safety committee, and it was like a Zoom call basically, and the guy who was running it had like a very bad cold. So imagine, like, not yeah, rapping, but a, a guy yeah. talking to you trying to be funny, but he's like, yeah, this, this video is really good. Oh my God. <laughs> For eight hours. Is that, what, are you, what are you doing wrong on the ladder? <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Well, we have the, or we've been having some really strange, um, like, oh. how not to fall for phishing scams. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Because I work at a university, and and like they have little quizzes at the end that are like, somebody's asking for your social security number. What should you do? Like, <laughs> that's what I have to do at, at my job too. That's so weird. I got like three calls from oh, my my. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> so bad. The, I'm I'm sorry that like Kenneth Anger moment. Yeah. I'm like constantly distracted by the uh, bedazzled stripes. Wait, sure. let's. I, I just want to see. Oh, there we go. Yeah, oh yeah. 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 Oh yeah. yeah. Ooh. I, th- I think you turned it down. Like, I I did. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, because I was gonna say some fuck. I forgot what I was gonna say. Well, well, never never mind. Okay, what was I looking for? What's the? Uh, it was the, just the, the transition. Man. The meat turning into the chili. The man like about to go scanners. Oh! Oh no! Somebody in chat. Somebody in chat says, "Give this frozen man some chili." That's right. You need to warm him up. This job is harder than any job. Oh yeah, I got fired from a McDonald's because I sucked ass at it. Like it's yeah, it's not fun. Uh, These are the Tim hardest Horton. jobs. To exist. Yeah, that's somewhere I worked at Tim Hortons. It's not, uh, not good. I'm extremely captivated by the sexy meat wads. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In each, each I'm stage five. Oh, 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 I want a different lip for a different occasion. Uh, wait, how many? Wait, did one of them have a gap tooth? I'm stage five. One of them had purple What's lips that? and wait. a slight, like, yeah. We need to study their. God. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We need to go no, one at a time. I'm close too. I got to hold my other girl. Let's, let's, let's lower the volume here. We'll see. One of them is like a New York City girl. <clears throat> That's me. Yeah, <laughs> under sure. yeah, take, Let's tag ourselves. Uh, <laughs> I don't, it might be me because they have two teeth in their mouth. That's exactly. that's what that's exactly. what it is. I got, yeah. the, I got the chipmunk teeth. Oh, here, here we go. Hey, my teeth, my that, my teeth are that bad. My yeah, this is bad. the that's, this that's is me. the kind of person who wears pajamas at school. Yes. That kind of looks like Divine from all the John Waters movies to me. <laughs> yes. right there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was going to say that's kind of like me because like, my eye teeth didn't come down on the rest. Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's Taylor Swift, the meat yeah. pattern yeah. right Taylor there. Swift. She's, uh, yeah, yeah. She's, a, cause she's a piece of meat that we all love to, yeah, we all <laughs> love to, we all love to ogle at and throw yeah. cheese on. Okay. <laughs> that one could be me. I, I could be either of the, the bad teeth. I don't know what to say. I feel like if I say any celebrity, it would be too mean to compare this to. Well, uh, oh, I mean, that's a, that's, a, got... that's not divine. That's the uh, what's the, what's her face? The the other woman from the John Waters movies. Yeah, it's Edith Massey. Edith that's, Massey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. that's that's who it is. Donna. Kill me. And and that's beyond that's Beyonce right there. Yes. <laughs> the only one with a uvula. Okay. I really loved all of them. I need I need to hear the rest of this. 
Yeah, lay down those patties. I'm still laughing at calling them sexy Miqua. Yeah. <laughs> oh fuck! They got they got a comedy writer up in the writing room. That's crazy. That's right. That's right. If you go to one these, they serve top. <laughs> Oh my god. No, I, uh, uh, I, I just, uh, um, I just, uh, I, yeah. you know, I, I've got a clonopin over here. Yeah. <laughs> Bill, did you get teleported inside the TV or not? <laughs> oh no. Is he? Oh no. Is it real? Okay. That was like a, that was like, that was like a David that was like a David Lynch moment where like he's yeah. not sure if it's gonna come out of the TV. Uh, you yeah, know? yeah. David Lynch pregnancy test. Yeah. Commercial. Yeah. Wow, you really listened to that rap song, Cody. Good job. Making your way in the world today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is Sometimes you want to go where you have to wear a name tag. <laughs> I was trying to I was trying to convince him about Reagan, but he kept wanting to talk about hamburgers whenever I brought it up. Great, <laughs> Murphy Brown. Okay. Thank you, sir. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. Hello. You know, it's an old fashioned hamburger. Just yeah, like old fashioned hamburger. <laughs> Wait, that's He's Dave himself. Yes, Dave, there he is. They got Dave. I'm Dan Jansen from Wisconsin. <laughs> you like coming to hamburger restaurants? So what's great though is that fern or that uh, that like monstera behind him is probably yeah, no, like no, no more that, rapping. That would time be... for the time for oh, the rock, rock. And roll. Yeah, time for some rock and roll, baby. That's right. Yeah, we got the flames going. Yeah. Oh, she's Wait, on Craig. He's got a Hitler mustache. Go back a second. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, what was yeah, what was going on there? I like this extremely Midwestern <laughs> gay person right here. I'm glad they got the <laughs> extremely. I, I'm glad they got the guy from Sparks to sing this. That's song. right, yeah. Ron Mayall. Yeah, yeah, Ron, yeah. Ron Mayall. Like this. This is this. Is an F slur who listens to Ron Mayall and is doing a Ron Mayall offense. I, I just want to, I just want to take this song and cut it to uh, uh, the American Psycho scene where he's talking about Huey Lewis in the news because it sounds like a Huey Lewis knockoff song. Like he's like, he's like, a lot of people don't appreciate Huey yeah. Lewis in the news. It's Wendy's commercial theme. And this it's emo queen also. <laughs> yeah. Grill skills is a song so good. Some people don't even listen to the lyrics. Yeah. Oh, yes, who's he? He did not get paid. Oh, her <laughs> lips were the model for one of the. <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe they are all paid. Yeah, this Maybe is just the, the most attractive Wendy's in this <laughs> entire world. This is back when you could just like when you didn't need this job when you were forty-five. Yeah. You could just yeah. be twenty. Or in every more ninety-seven, yeah. like that lady was. I just paid off three semesters of college. I'm going to go buy a motorcycle now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go spend some now, Oh, wait. that's I thought this was 94. Just to oh, be, God. just from me being stupid, I was like, it's probably like way later than I think. No, it was like 89. Yeah. Can't tell because the uniform stays the same. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you get older, those uniforms it, stay the it's same. Not in, it's not until Nirvana hits where fashion changes. Oh my oh, God. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> Dude, oh, this no. is going to be so sick. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're all uncles who work at Nintendo now. You work hard. <laughs> <laughs> Why then must you suffer the headache of returns? Oh, okay. Uh, excuse me. This isn't going to be about bombers. Uh, who do I talk to about that? No. You need to go right back there to the electronic area and be happy to help. Oh, gosh, you know I haven't really got a lot of time. Could you take care of me? I'd love to, but I can't. I need to send you to electronics right back there to be happy. I you really break my balls, God. Look, you bitch. I mean, you know who I am. <laughs> Yeah, I just talked to some dumb fucking broad at the counter previously. Yeah. Can you fix my Nintendo machine? Can you, can you please uh, get me a full refund for my blood soaked fucking. 
Look, it was, I kept it in the crawl space of the 17 boys that I put down there. This is the most New York City fucking shit I've ever seen. No, 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 it's not soda pop. I don't know. It was fine. I could just... It's not soda pop. Oh, no. I'd appreciate it if I had an exchange on it. I have a I got jokes. You know, I'd really like to help you out here, but I don't... You know, exchange. Listen, you guys have been great in the past. That uh, you know, you've always taken care of. Me. You guys made Mario before. I think you should be able yeah, to fix you, this. Yeah, you've always accepted my returns of <laughs> yeah, I, uh, Pepsi and Crusted. What's the idea of this guy being like? Look, I bought Rygar here last week. What you really think? Of course, you can't do that. I bought Return to Silius. That's a very limited yeah. print yeah. game, and uh, I think. Am I supposed to play my? Uh, here's, here's me. Yeah. Mark, it's Mark now, now, wait a second here. I think this, we can all agree, this is what everybody who plays video games looks yeah. like, you know? Absolutely nothing, no picture. I'm pretty sure it's the EEPROM, so if you just want to take a look at that, I'd fix it myself, but I don't know. Really for... So I'll take my money back. <laughs> well, I'm sorry you had a problem. There's nothing at all, huh? Nope. Well, let's see. EEPROM. <laughs> it says Game Boy, and I'm a game guy. I'd like to yeah. change that. <laughs> I'm a game man. Yeah, I'm a game <laughs> man. Even if you're mature. Can you imagine the Neo Geo training video? They're like, it's a look. The king of Saudi Arabia has come in with his Neo Geo, which he's the yeah. only person who can just afford to get the contrast a bit. How's that look? Oh. Oh, oh I just of increased the, the brightness for you there, bud. <laughs> well, he increased the brightness and also uh, cut out this part of the frame and put in like capture footage of yeah. this in there, so it looks really nice. Of course, the contrast. I think that was probably my 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 kid didn't. Uh, yeah, you dumb uh, fucking nerd. Uh, yeah, I've de my kid. I've definitely had nice sex. The <laughs> contrast <laughs> dial, obviously. The controller doesn't work. Oh. I get there's a picture, but there's no action. Probably love this because it's just an episode of the right. IT Crow. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. See how it works. I do this equivalent quite a bit, actually, with, but, like, with machines that could kill you. So, I have a certain amount of sympathy. <laughs> yeah. Sarah so works in a wood shop. <laughs> I work in a wood shop, so oh. people will be like, why is this thing not, um, pretty not? And I'm like, well, did you? Yeah, I mean, one, plug it in. Um, did, did you make sure that, did you use an emergency stop to stop it instead of a normal stop button? <laughs> <laughs> it's easy to see that all customers are not the same, but no matter what size or shape. Personally, I think the casting of this woman is a bit anti-Semitic, but that's just, that's just me. That's just me. It's, just, it's just New York. It's just, <laughs> it's just New York. Nintendo is it's, doing something. It's literally about. Rockefeller Center, Nintendo World. A whole lot easier. You know, maybe she just wants to talk to us. Last year, Nintendo of America <laughs> sold over 90 million pieces of Game Boy, Nintendo Entertainment. Oh, wow. That's the original one. That's the original Game Boy box. Oh. Wow. Game packs and accessories. Game I mean, if you go back to like when he has games behind him, it's all just like shitty. Oh, really? Wait, hold on. It's like. I think it's at one point you can just see like Fester's quest behind him. Um, yeah, not, you could. Hey, you not Fester, like, like, like Adam's Adam family, right? No, there, there, there was like an, like, an Adam's family game on the NES. It's like not very good. Oh, Fester's quest, yeah. yeah. There's Star Tropics. Yes. Yes. In many cases, the customer simply failed. Yeah, in, many case, it, in many cases, we put it on products that aren't very good. Either. Damn, they got instruction <laughs> manuals for these? Oh, fuck. You're not a Nintendo mechanic. You're a customer service Nintendo mechanic. <laughs> well, that's right. Nintendo has the solution to this dilemma. It wasn't Game Boy, but I would continually rent from Blockbuster the army man games that were oh. just the army man toys oh, oh, oh yes, my yes. god i remember those great. I those too. they were terrible like but they charged. were amazing when i was nine years old exactly. like if you go oh. back to them they're terrible now but maybe i let's get one ps1 uh, sure. shooters were so weird like they're trying to figure it out in that time like i, I 
I like that uh, everyone in those army men games was all green except for the lady who was just like normal color but had exactly. green hair and was sexy. <laughs> <laughs> it's important to stay sexy if you're a lady. But I always loved that, yeah, like that or like Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1. I had that. Um, where it's just like, we got one woman in there. Yeah. <laughs> Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 was good because they were like, we have one woman in here and she's the most disheveled looking bitch. You've yeah. Uh, What's well, Alyssa's. Steam? I think her right? name's like Eileen or something. Really nice. That's why I was an SSX tricky person because they're all non binary. <laughs> yes, 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 exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, I'm trying to figure out what's on the shelf here. Oh, yeah. Computer. I can't figure out any of This is too I mean, blurry. I think Fester's Quest is like beside his arm. Like left it's like all Game Boy cartridges that are out of focus. Uh oh. Oh. By spending a few minutes reviewing the stars, they all motherfucker. You can probably answer ninety percent of the questions that come your way. This is how things like Geek Squad evolved. It's just like you can just give them basic sheet and they can fix everything because everybody's so stupid that like you can yeah. use but now that PCs are more like advanced like Geek Squad can't do anything because it's just like <laughs> all their employees like not just specifically Geek Squad but like all those like major corporation PC fix place yeah hey cleaning kit what's all of it's 95 okay and, my uh, my partner had a good like experience that. with the good old-fashioned random the cell phone, uh, uh, we will fix your phone uh, kiosk, you know, type oh, like Oh, they'll business. drive to your house, please? No, 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 not kiosk. Oh. No, no, no. Like, like, um, like an actual brick-and-mortar business ah. that their whole business is they fix cell phones. Or, or you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, and you got to respect them. And they're, they're, they're being, they're being culled. They're being hunted. And there's less and less of them. <laughs> Uh, you, you can see it here, Mark. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, I was just, I was just going to comment. I have an old PC that broke that my daughter's playing Roblox on that we're just like, whatever. You, and it broke. And like, uh, Kirsten was like, should we take it to Best Buy? And I was like, no, let's find like. A, a brick and mortar who, store, yeah. Where it's just, it's, it's just some, yeah. You need to, God, that's like find an, the guy who has like an anime ad on the subway. That's that, right, Mikey's that, hookup. Mikey's, that's, yeah, Mikey's hookup. That's like an Ita that's like an Italian advice that my dad gave me was like, you need to get a guy for everything. You need, you need, you you need to get a guy because really he won't guy. he won't overcharge you, it's and important. it's your guy. Well, we got. Yeah. Oh, I know a guy who installed crypto mine on your computer. You gotta okay. have a shoe guy. You gotta have a yeah. Yeah, it's Final, Fan it's Final Fantasy one there. Yeah, that's it's, Final I Fantasy mean, one. This is also like Bookchin yeah. nodal theory: is that you need a guy for everything. Right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're all somebody's guy. Yeah, it's true. I need to. So I need a guy to go pee, which I'm gonna go do right now. <laughs> okay. Okie dokie. Good luck. I didn't pre screen this one, so this one looks like it's in full motion video. <laughs> yeah, it really does. <laughs> it's like a video game. It's, like, it's, like film, it's filmed like a Sega CD game. I didn't unmute my mic when he said it, but I will say, I, I don't appreciate you Canadians, Graham, disrespecting Walmart like that. An American <laughs> institution. Oh, oh look, we, look, we had Zellers. We know how it is. It was really funny when uh, there was a big push here to open Target here. And they opened it, and like within like a year and a half, they were all closed. <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys, you, you not not Graham. You got you other guys, America, America, my fellow Americans, um, know the Canadian um, Marshalls and TJ Maxx. Uh, the Canadian uh, versions of those. Yeah, or? yeah, yeah, yeah. No, oh. I go to TJ Maxx to buy my clothes because I'm poor. But what? I go to TJ Maxx to buy my clothes as well because I'm yeah, poor. Yeah, the Canadian oh, yeah. version is winners that's right <laughs> oh hell yeah it's called winners right. we're winners baby making those a, savings and the one here is attached to home sense so i can get furniture and I can get clothing <laughs> wouldn't target yeah, in canada be called tarjay because it's it's french they would. that was the joke that people did here oh okay <laughs> Yeah, that's why I should be a comedy writer on a uh, yeah. a low watched uh, yeah, comedy yeah. uh, Canadian sitcom. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They bring back Mad TV. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, I, 
or my, my parents joke where there's like a chain of kind of like budget stores like that here called Giant Tiger. So my parents <laughs> would call it they would call it G, they would call it GT Boutique. <laughs> God, whoever came up with that name is just shooting a shot. Giant Tiger. What's the name? What what name? Giant Tiger. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah we, it's it's got to be fucking Giant Tiger. <laughs> Well, it's like, there's like, like there's like the one clothing store here just called it's called Urban Barn. It's like because your six year old found you with your mistress and yeah. demanded to name your next <laughs> mega corp. I like winners. I think our we should reach it. We should let Canada winners take over good, Mar- yeah. our Marshalls and TJ Maxx. Ones in Toronto are all like much hot, nicer looking than the ones here. Oh fuck! I haven't heard about this union shit. What the fuck? They're targeting Walmart? That's horrible. I watched a video on it's okay. Like, a, like, I went the first time I went into like a TJ Maxx, I was like surprised that it is just like exact same layout as winners. And I, was, I didn't know they were, they were owned by the same company. So I was like, oh, what's going on? <laughs> They're trying to shut down the store that I can buy a bag of Cheetos and a flat screen TV in one yeah. purchase. And a gun. And a gun. Wait, that's right. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Not in Canada. We live in oh my God. Fascist. I moved to Ohio from South Carolina and I was like, oh, there's no gun section in Walmart. Interesting. I love the. <laughs> you guys see the fake press they made up? The one where they're like, and see, he look, here's some of the good press that we buy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> where is the mo- where are the profits going? Well, we want to show the underground bunker that the Walton family. <laughs> has built that you can see this is where your work is going you want to see the art museum that we use to launder um illicit uh you know <laughs> sexual slaves through i didn't so. mean to i didn't mean to panic you by thinking how are the waltons going to feed themselves during this but here is a 10 year supply of beans and powdered milk that the Waltons can drink, and if you can, yeah. if you can keep working, we can make it to a twenty-year supply, maybe. Uh, Mr. Walton, we're all out of gold water we can have with every meal. <laughs> oh, no, Mr. Walton, I'm sorry. I thought that was a cobra. Cause it's it so really bl- it's 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 so yeah. blurry. I thought this was a king cobra <laughs> in the, in yeah. the up right up right. Yeah, I see it. I see the cobra. Like a worm with glasses. This, I'm just laughing again that this looks like night trap. What's the? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, these are like much funnier, like easier. I think they're like more fun to make fun of because they're so understated as opposed yeah. to the. All like the safety videos last week were like, here's a person blowing up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that's actually effective and important. Like, here's like, like imp- impress onto people. Here's like a yeah. bunch of pipes impaling a man. Woof. <laughs> well, I have like, you'd think, right? Um, I'm, I'm right now uh, about to start giving the like safety demos in this wood shop and. Uh, training the people who are actually going to be watching the shop floor and stuff and i was like mm-hmm. maybe i should just like print out a bunch of people are doing wacky shit in there <laughs> um, because they're 20 and they don't know what they're doing yeah. i think you should show them this yeah. <laughs> oh wait this is even better yeah because th- yeah. this could happen to your employees they could get hypnotically entranced yeah. by the saw i literally made a comic about this oh uh. About getting, about getting entranced by the blade. Getting entranced by the blade and, and getting <laughs> off on. <laughs> oh my god. I do have to show oh this. Finger. <laughs> your finger. Shut up, Wyatt. Shout out to awesome. the person in the chat who said right to repair. One on one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hooker, hooker mode. Right to repair, baby. Yes. Again. Like union one good libertarian associates to sign authorization right. cards or petitions. Whoa. Union organizers might say that giving them your name and address doesn't mean Oh, oh shit. We might start talking about the simple way for you to give more information uh, about yeah. you. <laughs> or they might even promise you things like free health care or wage increases just to give you <laughs> There's somebody who came up to me and said they were a leftist. They were talking about something about higher wages, which I liked, but they also talked about like some Tetsuo the Iron Man. I don't know what the fuck. 
I don't know what the fuck that is. So. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody told me to start reading Brecht. <laughs> yeah. Then you give the union the right to They gave me a comic by Kazuo Umezu. Once you give them your That shit sounds freaky, so I'm not, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with Walmart on this one. <laughs> My co-worker kept giving me these books called it's hard Confessions of a Mask. What is that? <laughs> this Yukio Mishima guy seems pretty cool. Much less two unions who seem to be spending so much time trying to hurt my company. You hear about this guy? The government wasn't filling into his man, so he killed himself. That's pretty cool, right? I, I never heard that before. <laughs> oh, but God, what's his name? <laughs> Mach- he did what? M- Machinima is his name? No, yeah. it's ma- it's machine. It's Mishima. Oh. That's why he killed himself. No one laughed at his <laughs> Halo 2 video. <laughs> <laughs> Machinima. I like having the old ladies at work who got, who got mad at me about it. She's like, what is this? What is this, Mangy? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's, you know, it's, well, it's a comic from Japan. She's like, why is it backwards? <laughs> I said, well, take the red right to mm, left. Oh, yeah. Why? <laughs> what the fuck? I hope he's not digging into the salad bar. He's covered in fur. He's going to get his fur in the fucking lettuce. Hot fortune. Is this, uh, is this the same? Oh, this is turkey cheese. Uh, Why yeah. do all restaurants uh, look like this? Oh, yeah. I was. I added this because I was upset at the idea that Chuck E. Cheese had a salad bar. Yeah. It is important to continuously maintain. This is wild that restaurants looked like this. Look, the salad was a very new concept at this time. Or, like, when you're watching an Adam Curtis documentary and you get to the section where he talks about how much he hates exercise, and he's like, the 80s saw. No, no, and <laughs> but, but then something very funny happened. That's People exactly. start, started exercising, and they weren't enjoying it. Jane Fonda was an American actress. Her father had been very famous, and her brother equally so. It's like, but then she, but then she did something unexpected. She started exercising and filming it. Like all Look at other this fucking garbage be bag of salad. Oh, <laughs> so that big bucket. I know someone who worked at like a health food restaurant once, and uh, so the, you know they would have to make their own sauerkraut, which you know fermented in a big huge you know bucket like that. So the one thing with sauerkraut is you're supposed to like scrape off that layer on top, or like the shit forms. So this one person, they were like putting it together and they came in they're like well, where's the layer the person's like oh well, I thought you're supposed to just like stir it in yeah. <laughs> so they go in and there's just like like there's like it's where the flavor is there's all these yeah. maggots in the sour <laughs> so I was at the grocery store the other day and there's this lady she's like oh yeah I can get the sausages and the, like, the teenage employee's like oh yeah sure and he grabs with his bare hand and yeah. she's like what are you doing and he's like oh he said, oh we all do that and like some old lady butcher walks by she's like yeah he grabbed with his bare hand the lady's like he just like, explodes at him and she's like what the fuck are you doing <laughs> that's how you stay healthy that's how i haven't gotten COVID. Yeah. well i love that like Sure it's a real anime sword. <laughs> You're nice, <laughs> brother. Discard any damaged tomatoes. Oh, okay. Damaged tomatoes. Oh, without the stems. Keep the stems. The my clothes way dirtier than the country with a guy. I'm appreciating the uh, rugged realism Next, of this the video. Outer dry layers yeah, it's funny that Chuck E. Cheese has the most straight up, like, informative <laughs> one. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're out of Chuck E. Cheese. We know. Oh, God. Imagine, remember life before baby spinach? No. no. Exactly. That's why. I draw the line oh. at Tyson. Oh, at a... oh, that's so gross. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Into the picture. <laughs> we, oh, we got. Okay, Sprout talked about food safety. You were going to get. Sick as 
fuck if but, you eat bad sprouts. Well, You're I just going to die. Really? I think really? it, I think it looks like he pulled up the grass outside, or <laughs> also like the the plastic packing grass from Easter baskets is yep. filled in that. That's what it looks like to me. Personally, I don't think you should eat watermelon if it looks like pork. But that's just, <laughs> that's just me. Oh God! Oh God! <laughs> Roll that back. Oh no. DJ, play that back. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We are just like the water oh. kids. <laughs> da- Daddy. 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 I love packing peanuts covered in Velveeta cheese. That looks great. Ooh. Daddy. Oh my god. Or is that popcorn? Oh no, it's eggs. Oh god. <laughs> I mean, this is fast food. This is why, like, you go to a restaurant. It's because they don't like. It's not the looks that matter. You guys gotta, you gotta scarf it down so you can go play more middle slug. <laughs> Remove spilled food. Rinse garnish. Okay. Restocking ice That's Thank important. House of the Dead. Sweet. Oh yeah, you're gonna toss the salad. Hey. That's oh, right. I'll get my, I'll get my salad. Tossed. That's a lo- that's a that's a low hanging fruit right there. But more like a low hanging salad, you know. I took, it, get, I took it right. I, I grabbed it. Everybody in chat, go ahead and make your toss you the salad ready. video uh, joke that you can make. Looks like a face. Yeah, it looks like someone's head is yeah. in the air, like Halloween style. You've now been shown uh, the salad bar procedure. Did that once in high school, and then. <laughs> yeah, I like Almost when you're going to you go to Chuck E. Cheese. They're like, "All right, close your eyes. This is the monster's hair. <laughs> this is its eyeballs." Yeah. No. Oh. I forgot. Okay. Well, so who is that guy supposed to be? In oh my! Cheese I'm before? fucking okay. I'm losing my mind because I forgot this was about Chuck E. Cheese University the whole time. I thought <laughs> I thought this was just some generic buffet. Oh no! Okay, no, it's their, Chuck E. Cheese. Their shell company is called Showbiz Pizza Time Inc. It's so sick. That is so yeah, funny. Yeah, that's true. Oh god! I'm Jim Pike in the house. Who's this? Burns. <laughs> this is this a celebrity? Oh no! no it's it's William H Macy. Yeah. yeah. It's Jerry Lundegaard. <laughs> no, this is I forget I, I forget what store this is for. It's some department store. You know, there's a place. You can go to five or six stores. <laughs> yeah. Just one. It can actually help generate profits while protecting company assets. Of course, I'm talking about the fitting room. He's my friend because he's wearing a dress shirt and he says wearing blue jeans. Imagine all the people in the 90s who died of heroin overdoses in rooms like this. It's yeah. horrifying to think about. <laughs> With uh, four CRTs going at once. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of like what Renton's apartment looks like. I would, I would love if just every fitting room just had like, what is it you put in the red lights? And just neon I lights, I guess. Oh, like, no, so you can't see your veins. Oh, I thought you meant the. I thought you meant like the pink room from Firewalk with me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it's the red room from Video Drum. Buy a blazer with shoulder pads. That's what I'm going to buy. I'm gonna buy six different dresses with the same shitty floral pattern yeah. on them. That is microscopic. I don't remember. I don't remember if we ever watched him on Atrocity Exhibition, but when we did the streams before. There was this thrift store guy we would find who would go to stores like this, and he'd be like, "Oh, I got this new shirt, and it's, and it's, it's, it's all it's all it's all dirt, dude." <laughs> it's like the hot TikTok trend. To, they, they're like the thrift gods we're good to me today <laughs> this, girl's, this girl doesn't have bars sorry I can try in the underwear right don't let him try it. the underwear on that's not right it's very unsanitary 
You can try them on if the you want. Yeah, so keep on your own pair, you <laughs> nasty. I'm hyper fixating on Corman's uh, comment in the chat called the show bits and anime where everyone had a computer that was a Chuck E. Cheese anime. <laughs> <laughs> Graham, why are you putting on Gaspar Noe movies <laughs> right now with this fucking? We need to put in the tech, the, the, the techno music on this part. Dude, their asset managers—they are sadistic freaks. They probably have seen all of the, like, all of those movies. Games fan club. Asset protection in your store. Is oh. This isn't is like a, this is like a silver case cut. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it reminds me of like a PS1 RPG oh trying to be like artsy. <laughs> oh. Our customers. Oh, yeah, it's really <laughs> our stores. The distribution centers and names? corporate offices. Grocery store? As well as the merchandise uh, store. Yeah, to I, remember I remember Ames. I remember Ames now. Oh, I thought it was going to be like for real asset management, but it's just assets. for the per- department During store. This program, We'll be discussing oh, oh, the different like, ways we can protect shit. assets I thought it was and be about losses in our stores. Your neck, accidents <laughs> to both bodies are their assets. Customers are one of the nothing. largest single contributors to losses in our stores. Oh my Although god, so it's just, oh, I get it. It's the like anti-theft one. You can let young children stand in the shopping cart, but if it's a grown man, yeah. tell them to get out of the shopping cart. Oh my god, this is the fishing also, shit we all have to watch now. <laughs> You should chase down any shoplifters and give them a haymaker to the back of the head. <laughs> my my non bookstore job is like in healthcare, and I get like all of the like most psycho emails all the time. Like because it's tied to healthcare. Well, it's like it's t- yes, I get like all those because it's like it's tied to healthcare, but then it's also doing like national advocacy stuff. So it's like just like the. And Most insane Robert. shit from people who Internal are just like, why aren't you giving me health care? And I'm like, stores. yo, we're literally like not. That steal from their in New York, you're like, in New Jersey. Yeah, like, no, you're in California. Yeah. <laughs> And like, merchandise for family I could, I'm like trying to helpfully point you Retailers towards like resources near you, but it's like, oh my god, Sadly, everyone's like insane. Oh <laughs> my ass! I just work here, bro. <sighs> store detectives are assigned to each I'm sorry, we don't have public health care. It fucking sucks store for me too. I get nineteen dollars an hour <laughs> to answer this email. <laughs> if you see a theft occurring. Uh, immediately oh shit! Immediately pull out a gun and fire into the subject's yeah, head. This is this is so like our policy over work. It's like you can't like say. I mean, it's the same as this. You can't say anything to the thief. Yeah. We were at the point now. This is one guy. He kept coming in and stealing all the vibrations. <laughs> my uh, best, because as a white woman, I did have a shoplifting face, and like my best one was in a deep Deluca, stealing like a seventy dollar bottle of vanilla extract <laughs> while someone was actively following me because they could tell that I was about to steal a bunch of shit. What we're saying is, steal from your own work. But don't get caught. <laughs> it would cost us more to give you health care from getting shot than it would be to give them everything in the register. The panic button is there so that we can keep getting our insurance money. Apparently, at one of my company's stores, like they stopped doing like bag checks they were doing. And so this one girl who was currently quitting like came in. She brought back all the stuff she'd like stolen, like taken out of the store even with bag checks. And she's like, "Look, I'm proving a point." And they're like, "Uh, you like stole seven thousand dollars for this stuff? We're charging you." I mean, yeah, I work retail. The attitude that uh, and everyone does I have had it's just a so many counterfeit, counterfeit right. attempts. Really? Unfortunately, people don't um, and I've gotten good at just being like, oh, we can't take hundreds, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I mean, that's the reasonable. Do you get like the marker? That you, yeah, we have like the marker, yeah. but then there's like there's just really bad ones that you can like already tell. <laughs> that are just on laser printer. Yeah. <laughs> 
But I am a printmaker, but it's like, you know, you can't. Yeah. Uh, you're doing doing you're doing a, if you're doing Rule of the Foe and To Live and Die in LA, you're just sitting around <laughs> taking photocopying money. Put the, my friend's video in the chat if we want to watch some of that. It's so good. Pepper Ann. Pepper Ann Ultimate. It's very good palette, palette cleanser. <laughs> oh god <laughs> I wish it was a real game Graham what would you do would you wake Pepper or not uh, no I get the bad ending of Sam <laughs> yeah, it's, it's Sam Ben sleep all day and miss the game that's what I would do oh <laughs> There's her inventory. I love her inventory. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, wait, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hold on. I love she, how she kept the artifacts of not erasing the, all these animation transparent oh, background God. thing. So like, there's just floating fucking <laughs> artifacts on the floor, on the feet. It's just like the kitchen from Phantasmagoria. <laughs> this is really good. Yeah, like advanced MV techniques. Whoa. Whoa. Oh <laughs> this is so cool. Like, it should be a real game. <laughs> the Louis Vuitton <laughs> trunk coffee table. I love when she drives her car. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's like <laughs> shitty, <laughs> shitty blender models. Like. It's so sick, dude. <laughs> All these like just like reused assets. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Graham, we should make the cartoons like this. Yeah. Look at the, look at this. <laughs> hire you can hire me and a, and like a bunch of my gay ass friends to do the um uh, costuming and makeup. Yeah, no problem. Just when I huge, when, I, when I make any money above the bills I have to pay at some point, <laughs> I'll I'll totally fund that. <laughs> yeah, so check out OK and Sarah's. Podcast, Art and Labor. Check it out at artandlaborpodcast.com. Thanks for coming on, guys. It was a, it was, it was a lot of fun. Thanks uh, for having us. Yeah. I try to be official, but it always sounds lame whenever I say it. Uh, whatever. I need to get, like, a soundboard that's like, it's like, damn, son, where'd you find that? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was the best thing ever because I annoyed everybody else on the stream. That was that, that was why it was the best entertaining stream ever. But anyway, my desire is to 